We're just going to do an acrylic design and we're going to do some one stroke painting on top. We're going to start by using our metal tool to push back the client's cuticle. And then any excess cuticle then, you can use the other end of your cuticle pusher to scrape away. If you don't scrape it away, then the nail will lift straight away. It's not designed to stick to skin. The next step we're going to do is we're going to file the client's natural nail plate with a 180 grit nail file. Making sure that there's no shine left on that nail plate. The next step to do is to shape the client's free edge. We now need to remove that dust from the nail so that it doesn't get trapped underneath our extension. I'm going to apply a small amount of brush on resin. Today we're going to be using wellless tips, which means that you don't have to blend, which saves you a good half an hour on your treatment time. Coming down at a 45 degree angle until you see that resin hit that nail and then press the tip down. Once that centerpiece is stuck, then you can use your fingers or your nails to press those wings in. Check to see if you've got any air pockets. If you did, you could always apply just a little bit more resin. We're going to cut this nail now, remembering always that the blade is towards you and not towards the client so that you don't cut her finger at any point. You will have already discussed any consultation of what length that client wants. We're going to make the model's nail bed look a little bit longer so that it makes the nail look a little bit more elegant. The way we do this is by using a cover pink. I've chosen one with a slight fine glitter in it as well just to make it look even prettier. You pick up your powder exactly the same as what you would any of your others but make sure you take the liquid out the back. You're going to place that bead on in a reverse motion so that the brush is pointing towards you. That way you can get a deeper smile line. You need to blend that bead down towards the client. Your second bead of cover pink, you're not going to take the liquid out so that it blends into the first one. I'm now going to do a colour marble. I'm using yellow, orange and pink. Picking up beads of colour and working quite wet, you're going to place three different colours onto the nail, one after another. And then with the tip of your brush, you're going to work through them to create a swirl. Repeat this procedure until you've covered the whole of the tip. Don't worry if we've got a few little gaps, we can fill it in with a bit of glitter. I'm now going to cover the whole nail in pink acrylic for your strength. If you were using any sort of green shades, use clear acrylic, not pink.
We're going to let this acrylic nail set now before we pinch. That nail is now pinched, so we can now go on to us filing. We're going to do some one stroke painting on this nail so we need to smooth the nail out so that it's nice and soft for the paint to go on. The way we do that is just by white blocking the nail. Make sure you get right down near the cuticle and right down the side wall so that every area of the nail is nice and smooth. Dust the nail and then you're ready for painting. We're going to use four different colours. I always tend to stick with white for a highlighter and then three other colours. You need to double dip your brush so that you've got white on one side and a darker colour on the other side. You're then going to use your own skin to merge these two colours together. In a tapping motion, tap in the shape of a petal, turning your brush round to make it a bit easier for you to come down this side. We're then going to move on to doing our leaves. So this time I'm using a yellow and a green. And again merging those two colours together on your skin. Same procedure using a tapping motion. But this time bring it up to a point. We're then going to change brushes to a size zero brush. Adding a little bit of water to your paint so that you can get quite a lot of movement and you're not just staying in one area. And start outlining the petals with the dark colour that you've used in the centre. You're going to do the same procedure now with the green. Yeah. 
Then we're going to finish this pattern off with lots of white dots. Really brings the flower out. this nail we're just going to apply gel top coat all over the nail. Once you've applied your gel top coat put your client in the lamp for two minutes.